Hi, everybody. How are you? So, uh, what what number is it today? Seven nine. Yeah, seven ninety four, ninety five, seven ninety five, something like that. Anyways, um, welcome to Timucua. Who's here for the? F yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Who is here for the first time? Oh, fabulous, fabulous. All right. So bless you. Thank you for coming. Okay, so I have to tell you a little bit what's going on, okay, as far as physically the space. So this is our living room, <laughs> and we have bathrooms. Three of them are available to you, and uh, the upper floors are, yeah, they're occupied. Okay, so great, enjoy your bathroom, <laughs> personal bathroom on the <laughs> second and third floor. But uh, if there's a line, of course, you can go on the second or third floor. Um, and in case of emergency, please use uh, the exit where you entered or entered the exit, anyways, entrance where you exited, we you know, can exit soon, and the west uh, exit also, just in case of emergency, of course. Um, okay, so schedule-wise, well, first of all, a little bit of housekeeping, like I, my cell phone is charging on silent in my bedroom, so please don't be the one who forgot to silence your cell phone, yes, thank you, and uh, you want to kill the flash too, so we welcome you taking pictures, in fact, we encourage you to take pictures and post them on Instagram and short videos, you know, five second videos, uh, because I record everything and I have four cameras, so the, they will get the real videos and the full length videos and the trailers and all that stuff, that's coming out this week, as it does every week. But, uh, but if you want to post things on Instagram tonight or Facebook, you can do that, we're always uh, happy for you to do that. Um, okay, so schedule-wise, uh, our last concert of the year is the 21st, which I believe is Friday, yeah? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Yes, we have, a, we have an agreement, so, or a consensus. So Friday is, there's still tw 26, 27 seats left for that concert, is uh, basically Korean Christmas. So four Korean Classical musicians are coming, they're all ladies, and they're coming to play, like we have uh, two sopranos, a pianist, and a cellist, and they're gonna come and play some traditional Korean songs for you that are usually played um, during the t this time of year. So that's pretty cool. So if you have not uh, uh, gotten your tickets yet, this is a $20 ticket or $10 for Timkwa members for uh, military active or uh, retired or students. Any questions so far? So far, so good? Yes? Oh, that's, I don't, well, that's a good question. Actually, it's very easy. You can go on the website. You can talk to Chris Belt. Chris Belt, our executive director, is going to come talk to you very soon. And uh, yes, you, you, can, you can clap for him later. That's fine. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll set it up. I'll set it up currently. So, uh, and it's very easy to do. $100 a year, and it gives you, uh, basically, first shot at uh, choosing your seat. Uh, ten, uh, half off on ticketed events, so $10 instead of 20 for a ticketed, event, ticketed events, and uh, some, like, you know, exclusive access to full-length video archive, blah, blah, blah. It, there's a lot. So you're going to have, like, members only in events, members, special member emails, and insider stuff, and so we want everybody to become members because it's such a good way for us to, uh, to work and to get you involved and everything. So, but I have to talk to you about the art tonight, because there's a lot of art tonight. Um, so Marty's going to tell you a little bit about Randy Cross and what that art is. Okay, so that's a piece by Randy Cross, and there's four pieces that are, I, we kind of did a little mashup and uh, creatively use of, creative use of space, and so this, for example, is an excerpt of an, an, another painting that you're going to see later on uh, in, in totality, but that goes with the music that's going to be played. Now, yesterday, Linda Kusuma, who is here somewhere, I'm sorry, there she is, right there. So you can stand up and take a bow. <laughs> yes. Now, the lit pieces and the pieces in the lobby, she has many pieces in the lobby, um, and we have a price list and everything, so you want to talk to her if you're interested. You know, holidays are coming ever closer, and maybe your short one gift, that would be a great gift. And her pricing is in un very, very reasonable, uh, given that these pieces are framed uh, with a glass in front and everything, and the methods that she used, because she does not just like whip it out. It's like a very, <laughs> it's a very complex uh, a process that she used. Actually, she uses several processes, but some of them 
Im, uh, involve a 500 pound press and all that kind of stuff. So she does, um, how do you say that? Uh, there's some of them are relief paintings, some of them are uh, engravings, some of them are, uh, I, I know in French, but I don't know in English the other way. You're gonna have to talk to her to know exactly how she works. <laughs> but she does basically engraving of, with many different things and silk screens and all that kind of stuff, super complicated, super interesting. And she's a very interesting person, so you want to talk to her anyways, okay? So uh, she displayed her art yesterday at the percussion uh, uh, workshop. So I think some people were at the workshop and are here tonight. Yeah, raise your hand and give yourself a nice round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, and then, th of course, her work is here tonight. And her work will also be here Friday for the uh, Korean concert. So we hope that you're going to come back and see it and Hopefully, not everything sells tonight, and if it does, maybe the buyers will accept we keep it here for a few more days. Um, and now, yeah, La Lucha, like, uh, La Lucha has some stuff to sell. Marty has, they have CDs and stuff to sell. Um, uh, to sell. There's a, the bowl, the bowl is very important. Uh, so if you like what you hear tonight, put money in the bowl. It's just, it's easy, you know. You don't need to put the whole wallet, you just take the, you take the money out and then you put the money in, you keep your cards and everything, you know, I'm just saying. And if you don't have money and you don't just have cards, you can, we can do that. We swipe the cards and everything. But, uh, but please, to tell, talk to you a little bit about the Tuka Arts Foundation and the year-end efforts that we are going through right now. Christopher Belt, please. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. It's so encouraging to see so many people raise their hands and say that they're here for the first time. It's a very special place, and the first concert that you attend here is a very special experience. It was for me. Uh, it changed the total course of my life the first time that I uh, came here to perform. Um, I was a grad student at UCF. We have some very fine UCF faculty members here today uh, who taught me a long time ago. But um, anyway, uh, we did a, a grad student recital here, and they said, you're going to do a house concert. And I'm like, okay, cool. I was a punk rocker when I was 13, and we did house concerts. It's going to be like that. And showing up here, it completely blew my mind and, and showed me anything is possible. And so that's the experience that we try to create for everyone. Uh, your first time here, we hope that you leave thinking anything is possible. So um, with that spirit of positivity in mind, um, I hope that all of you new people will join our email list. We're not going to hit you too hard. Uh, usually once a week we send out an email. If you absolutely love the experience, please become a member or we have a membership little flyer you can take home that has all the information about it. The benefits that Benoit mentioned are just the tip of the iceberg. The main thing is you feel connected to this space and we really couldn't do it without our members and without our board. We have some board members here today. Uh, Ellen Hurwitz is here. And Jessica Bott is here. And we have I hope she doesn't mind if I point her out, but uh, Mimi Huang is here, and she's an absolutely incredible supporter of ours. So just uh, thank you to everyone who's, who's here. Benoit may want to shout out some people too. Um, but it, it's a community effort. So thank you for being here for the first time, joining our community for the first time. We hope you have a very memorable experience. And enjoy the show. So now we're ready to start the evening. So I would like to introduce, uh, you know, one of my heroes of my youth and now he's still my hero. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's 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 amazing because we we've we've been blessed as a family because we get to get the you know best musicians in the world come to our living room to play, and it's amazing. And uh, you know, Larry Coriel used to come in the afternoon like out of the blue just to jam with my kids. How cool is that, you know? <laughs> yeah. And so. Uh, Please help me welcome Marty Morell. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Benoit. Uh, I got to tell you, Benoit is a very special human being. Um, we're so happy to be here. 
And it's so nice to see uh, familiar faces, our friends that come out and hear us every time we're here, and we really appreciate that, and thank you so much. Um, and if it weren't for Benoit Glazer, this would not be happening. We were able to put this particular show together uh, over a, a period of a few concerts we did here. We tried a few things and uh, had a really good reaction. And, it, and this piece of music kept growing uh, kind of organically. Uh, I never envisioned this particular uh, version of it. It just kind of happened naturally. Uh, so if I wrote a, I wrote a, a piece for, for Mark uh, and I called it Zorro because he plays drums like a sword fighter. <laughs> he has this thing going on. So, and then it kept growing and growing and uh, Mark's lovely wife, Gloria Munoz, uh, is a poet. So we decided to add poetry and create a narration, right? And uh, then I wrote a few more pieces and it turned into now we have eight and we have some original artwork uh, my very good friend Randy Cross, he's, he's working on, uh, uh, actually he finished four, but he's got four more to do. And it's just kind of a tall order for an artist to uh, capture all this, and he's like very, very busy. Um, but anyway, we're happy to have a, a sample of what he's been doing for us. Um, so uh, uh, let me just introduce everybody first. We have Jeff Rupert on tenor sax, my good friend. And we have a special guest tonight on percussion, auxiliary percussion, Dima Sanchez. <laughs> and sitting next to him, my lovely wife, Michiko Altamorel. <laughs> and we have Gloria Munoz on poetry. Actually, she wrote, she wrote all the poems. <laughs> really beautiful. And we have the great La Lucha Trio. Alejandro Arenas on bass. And we have John O'Leary on piano. And my man, Mark Feynman on drums. Actually, this, this piece of music is, uh, is basically a drum feature, so Mark is kind of like Zorro in this, in this uh, scenario, right? So. Um, it should be interesting. This is the first time we're, per we're performing this piece, kind of, it's almost, it's like 95% complete. So um, uh, we rehearsed today, and it's kind of hard to put this all together. We all live in different places. We all have different schedules. But uh, uh, thankfully, uh, these guys are great musicians, so it's always a pleasure to, to get together and play. So uh, uh, this piece goes on, it's like starts, and then it goes right to the very end with the poetry in between the, com the uh, musical uh, pieces. So uh, we'll see you on the other side of uh, The Adventures of Zorro. Okay, here we go.
What is a mask but a taut, knotted heart that keeps beating despite the odds? Fighting, reaching, falling, running faster, climbing higher towards the burning sun. Listen to the heartbeat. It's a drum underwater, a war cry. It's the rhythm that curves around your dreaming. Does the mask make the hero or the hero make the mask? Black strip across the eyes says bandito, savior, or a lonely man on a horse. Regardless, the mask shows up, knotted tightly like the heart, beating day in and day out.
Don't we all love a man with a sword? Those eyebrows, that mustache, those eyes always asking a question. And the mask, it isn't too bad. Is it a disguise or a shield or a badge of honor? Call me Z, he says, as he takes off into the tangerine sky. His black cape flutters behind him like the wings of an undiscovered bird.
No one leaves unless they have to. Unless they're ready to risk it all. What does it mean to say goodbye to a home, a country, or a continent? To trail ahead with only hope. To swim, run, hide, beg, to strip away your dignity, step by step by step by step, to ask for help. No one leaves unless they have to. Driven by a vision of a different tomorrow. Aren't we all driven by a hope of a tomorrow? Although the continents may one day merge again, there is so much distance between us. But this caravan, this caravan is carried by our dreams.
to be swift-footed. Race the fallen sky. Reach the mountaintop before the stars strike, then howl. Howl like a hungry hound. Another day tries to pluck you from the earth, but you are steadfast. Stay alert on your stallion. Breathe the richest crepuscular air. Let the songs of your heroes weave into your dreams until you wake up believing them. Hold fast, for you are here now, and this is your adventure.
were born on a cloud-clogged night to the ring of your own tintinabular cry. You were fed thread by thread by your mother. You learned to love in another country, and the wind with its thousand hands took what it could. And through star-clogged eyes, you watched dawn shake loose its skin. And the saffron sun rayed marigolds as you gave yourself thread by thread to another. Oh, body that is swept of its senses. You learn to love with your brain and breath. Your children will be born into the fog-clogged years when you'll mend your mother like a doll and bury your father, whose mind has unspooled thread by thread to a child's. Cupping each word like a stone, you'll wear your language like a family heirloom, and your marigold chest will burn when your grandchildren are born on a dream-clogged night, you'll dissolve thread by thread into the cross-stitch sky. Entrañablemente. To love another with your entire being, so much so that you feel it in your entrails. In English, the definition leaves the taste of entrails in the air. In Spanish, it's a murmur between sheets of ocean the peeling of dusks into dawns. It is lungs falling down three flights of stairs, eyes drunk with the Milky Way's dust and honey. The electric currents of two bodies that produce their own magnetic field, their own rotation among the humming string of planets, the equinoctial throbbing of the tide, the gargantuan wrestling of the squid and the whale, who, tangled and dying, need one another.
the sword cuts swiftly through air, space, and time. You might miss it if you blink. The sword doesn't wait. It's hummingbird wings and shipwreck waves. It's lightning. How quickly a memory flashes us back to childhood, then forward to now, when we have to make a decision in a snap, in a flash, in an instant. How Zorro travels through time with his slices through air, pivoting between here and there, and then and now, dancing a tango, tight grip, graceful spin, sharp lunge, repeat, always on guard.
You win, you lose. You win, you lose. You find yourself at the end of a sword, holding your breath until your nerves catch up to you. To lose is to feel your knees turn to sand. Your spine tips over like a pile of shells. You can no longer stand. But you'll get up again. You're always halfway to something. So slowly stack up your skeleton, tie that mask around your face, and go. You win, you lose. You win, you lose. You find yourself.
Zorro. Originally deriving from the feminine, Zora, is fox, wolf, clever, crafty, sly, quick, trickster, with a gold heart. Zorro isn't afraid of grit, nor too unfit for grace. Suspended on a tightrope between courage and flight, His is a syncopated dance. Right, left spin, on guard, left, right lunge. How quick and quiet the stealth of surprise. That sword is a feather. That sword is a gavel. The peals of justice cling from graves for the disenfranchised and wrongfully accused. Wake up. A hundred thousand bells ring for the future. Slash. One, two, three. Behold the letter Z.
Before he was gallant and brave, Zoro was a boy who feared and questioned the discord of the world. Now he dons a mask, wields a sword, and rides a stallion across treacherous terrains. Yet, behind the mask, he's still that boy. From his journeys, he's learned that people are more alike than different. That being brave sometimes means risking it all. And that the wise build bridges, not walls. Can you feel the mask, your mask, resting on the ridge of your nose? The mask is just an illusion. Behind the mask, you two are still a hopeful child. For what is a mask but a taut, knotted heart that keeps beating despite all odds? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Mark of Zorro. <laughs> Dima Sanchez. Michiko Morel on, on percussion. John O'Leary on piano. Alejandro Arenas on bass. Jeff Rupert. Ready to go. Is your home already? Jeff Rupert. And the lovely, talented Gloria Munoz. Beautiful poetry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, and my, my dear friend Randy Cross, uh, the artist, he does some really cool stuff. But actually, he, d he did a painting similar to this like about five years ago. And I s when I saw him, I said, wow, this is like amazing. He's got this 
southwestern kind of a vibe happening. So uh, uh, anyway, he's on board and, and he's doing some really cool paintings for us. And we thank you for indulging us and letting us uh, do put, put the show on for you. Um, it's a pleasure for us. And it's a gig, man. It's a tough gig. <laughs> There's a lot putting it together, but we thank you for being here. We appreciate your, your applause, and, we, and we, uh, we're glad you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Benoit Glazer. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Good night. Okay.